Yeah, guys, quick update. Neo stock, quick update, quick update. Uh, looking forward to 2025 Neo stock. Let's look at the chart today, though. It's the 4th of December 2024, coming up to 25 minutes past 6 a.m. UK time, guys. Let's look at the chart, Neo stock. And as you can see, it's $4.76 moving up again, right? Moving up in the pre market now, what would you say, after market? But obviously, when it rose to $4.85, it came down in basically after the, well, before the close, came down to 450, 459, but then was moving up. We're looking at the one hour chart here, it was moving up every hour between, well, between roughly this range, 467, back down to 458. But then what happened was, after the close, which was round about here, after the close, the market, uh, Neo stock went sort of sideways within that range and then started climbing, right? In the after hours trading, started climbing. It's been climbing ever since, as you can see. Right, so it looks like I'm on. I don't know, I put out a live video. But I think there's something wrong with the sound with the live video. But basically what I was saying was in the live video that just in short, I was saying that I think I'm on track for a second part of my prediction, which I've mentioned in my previous videos. If you listen to them, I think I'm on track to reach my target you go back on my if you don't know already go back on my other videos so anyway just to backtrack a bit on the second and just before i think on the first but definitely on the second i said the next day which was the third which was here i said the neo stock would go up which it did but not only that on the day i said it would go up i said it would go to four 80 or a little bit more and i was exactly i called it exactly right 480 485 obviously like there was some <clears throat> um swing traders that bought down you know when neo was four 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 thirty four thirty five and they sold up here that's why it came down and but there's more buying pressure they know you know Obviously, as I said, I said, I called this right. Not only did I call the price right, I said that there would be an early move because it's not people are not going to wait to end of 2025, end of 2026. Neo, I've been talking about this for quite some time. Neo are aggressive with pumping out, you know, pumping out the vehicles, the battery swapping stages, etc. So because of that, the stock is not going to stay down. It can't stay down. And also, I spoke about the other reasons in my videos about the tariffs and how that, you know, how that swings in, you know, in, in basically in Neo's favour, talk of tariffs, et cetera, et cetera. Right? So... <clears throat> You know, it's like a bit like, um, oh, I don't want to go into it, but ba yeah, listen to my videos anyway, because it's just an update. I don't want to long it out, this video. It's just uh, talking about the next leg up, you know, the next. And look, I think it's going to happen, right? There's been a delay. And I think it's going to happen now to get to my target, which I mentioned in my one of my previous videos, that there'll be one or two days it goes sideways. But I think it's going to move up. I mean, if it goes sideways today, 
around the 480 range, then tomorrow is definitely going to go up. But because it's the first part of the week, stocks tend to go up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, if it if it if it goes up Wednesday today, later on today, the fourth, then it's possible it could go sideways th Thursday, Thursday, and then it could be pumpy pumpy Friday, right? Pumpy pumpy Friday, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, pumpy pumpy pumpy, and that should get us to our target. Well, my target price, which you know I mentioned, right? So I called it right, as you know, and I'm on track. I'm on track to see that success, like, carry on, basically. Like a time travel, going in back, you know, back to the future. Like a, like a time travel. I've gone, I've gone to the future, seen the future come back to the present and give you the information like time travel guys that's how it feels anyway superhuman powers right how did i how did i do it how did i do it right how did i do it how did i do it but i don't know people really are i do it for myself just just to prove to myself i've got superhuman powers because a lot of people are just going to listen to Mr. Prickly Pear. And he's been saying about 60 cents, you know. And also bashing Neo. He's been bashing Neo all the way down from $67, guys. And the other channels, you know, talking about technical analysis, load of rubbish. And not one of them told you any like about what price Neo was going to be on a certain date, right? Not one of them. It was only myself, guys. That's why you know I've got superhuman powers. Right? But I don't know. People go and listen to them. They still get sucked into this technical analysis rubbish, right? Well, it's not rubbish if you know how to do it proper, proper. But you've got to have superhuman powers, right? Otherwise, you're going to like put on this indicator and that indicator. And you're going to end up basically with a chart you can't even see the candlesticks because there's so many indicators over the candlesticks and even then there's so much conflicting information with those indicators you're never going to call it right you're probably going to call it right it's going to be guesswork right maybe 30 percent of the time but even then you're not going to know how high it's going to go or how low it's going to go so this is the 10 minute chart here you can see Oh, it's moving up over the 10 minute chart. More or less just extended from the one hour chart we were just looking at. So there it is, guys. Like, you know, Neo stock, like, uh, and um, then people on trading platforms, clueless, you know, they're just, they're not. They don't know how to trade. They don't know how to invest. They leave comments. They don't even know about the stock. They don't know if the stock's going up or down or when it should go up or down or how much up, how much down. They're absolutely clueless. They're a bit like if you've got, um, what do you call it? Basically, if you've got a life uh, ring and threw it in, 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 the, in, the, in the ocean, threw it in the ocean, it just, it just go wherever it goes, right? It'll end up wherever. That's the way they think. That's their mind. That's their mentality, right? All they are is like floating on the waves and, you know, they've got no direction. They've got no power. They're powerless. They, there's no intelligence, right? And that's the way I see them, you know, when they leave comments on trading platforms. You can just go back in their comments and read what they say. They're clueless, right? So they're like that, floating on the ocean. They don't know where they're going, you know. And it went, look, even if they land on a beach somewhere, right? They don't grow. They're not, they're not, they're not a seed. What they are is, uh, they don't grow into a tree and produce anything. What they are, is they call it dead wood, you know, 
they could have basically called it dead wood. No, no good for anything, right? Just burn, burn it up. So that's what they do, but they plague the comments, you know, of um, trading platform. And, and the trading platforms, they allow it. They allow them dead people on there, you know. They allow it, right? Because ultimately they know that they're not pros. They won't allow pros on there. Like stock tweets won't allow me on there, right? Because they that stock tweets profit from them dead wood people. They won't allow me on there. Same as Yahoo Conversations. They won't allow me on there, right? Because I've got superhuman powers. I've proved it. They won't allow me on there. They won't allow anyone with time travel. <laughs> time travel abilities on to their platform, right? Because it doesn't suit their objective of profiting from them people. Now they allow them people in there because they use what they say to make money from them, basically. But if I say, oh, no, this is going to happen, that's going to happen, and then it does, that's it, I'm gone. I'm blocked, right? I won't have it on there. So that's the reality. That's the truth, right? Um, you know it yourself, right? You saw how many times I called it right when EO was stuck. I've seen the future, guys. I've been there. I've gone to the future. I've come back from the future. That's why they call it back to the future. I've come back to tell you, but no one listened to me. So <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe I'm not going to tell it anymore, my um, stock predictions. Maybe I'll only reveal it to a certain select, certain select, you know, because the Deadwood, the Deadwood didn't even get it. There was one guy on a trading platform comment section. He didn't even get it. Like he was saying this, saying that about me, but he didn't actually say, yeah, I called it right. Unless he did know that, but he was just not, not wanting to give me the credit and thinking he was being smart, slagging me off, whatever. But how thick can you be to ignore someone's brilliance? How, how thick you can be? Like, can you be, you know? So anyway, I'm thinking about moving forward. I'm thinking about, I'm not giving stock predictions. Only to a selected few. Only to a selected few, you know, because I don't want to, I don't want to be, I don't want to provide any information to the Deadwood, right? I don't want to, like, do any good for the Deadwood. And also, I don't want to talk to dummies. I don't want to talk to Deadwood that basically can't even comprehend your brilliance, right? You can't even appreciate it. I mean, look, if you've got some dummy on the X Factor in the audience watching a show, watching a performance, right? At least, at least, at least the dummy could see something good in it, right? And clap. But these people, these deadwoods, these so-called traders, investors, whatever, right? They're so backwards that they can't get it. They can't, they just can't get it. They can't comprehend it, right? And um, so I don't want to provide them with any information because some of them might be a little bit smart and profit from me. So I might only give my information to a select few haven't decided yet, guys. But you know those deadwood people, you just gotta avoid them. The negativity. The negativity, right? They're um how to say, you know, people like that, they drain your energy. They completely, completely drain you. <laughs> they drain your energy, right? They they sap like your you know, sap your powers, you know, like in Superman, when the kryptonite comes out, you know, and they use it against him, <clears throat> they call it the kryptonite, right? And um, it saps his powers, right? And that's how it feels, guys. That's how it feels with these people. I feel sorry for them in a way because they're so unbelievably... So backwards, so brain dead, you know. And I bet they come across, like in real life, I bet they come across as smart. I bet they look smart. 
seemingly, I bet they, I bet people think of them as they're as, like as some smart people, or whatever. But if you read their comments, guys, it's unbelievable. There's one on this platform in the comments, like, how how can he how can he even say anything? It beggars belief. How he can even even comment? But then I was going through his comments. I was reading through his comments going back six months about Neo. He was shorting Neo from 370. He was shorting Neo and then he switched and went long. And then when Neo didn't go up, he got started crying like he wanted he wanted more milky, milky, right? He didn't know where he, he didn't know whether he was coming or going. He didn't know if he was going up or down in the end. He didn't know how high, how low. When he went short, it went up. When it went up, he went he went short. He didn't know what he was doing. And that just tells you everything, doesn't it? It tells you that he has got no clue about trading and absolutely no clue about investing, right? And yet he's telling me. He's telling me. Can you believe it? Anyway, you know, you know the truth, guys, right? So this is it. Obviously, like I've got other stocks to analyze and to look at, <clears throat> not just Neo stock. So I'm busy. I've got no time for people like in the dead wood. You know, they're not productive. They're not got any intelligence. I tell you, uh, an octopus. <laughs> An octopus, right, has got more intelligence than 10,000 of him, like them types. And um, even, even a, you know, a jellyfish, even a jellyfish, you know how many brains a jellyfish has got, guys? Do you know how many brains a jellyfish has got? You go and look it up. One jellyfish has got more intelligence right then a hundred thousand a hundred thousand of them kind of people you'd be better off getting stung by a jellyfish than like you know involving yourself with with one of those persons let alone coming across them all the time you know what i mean so anyway guys like um yeah, just uh, not financial advice, not financial advice, but I'm holding, I'm holding, I'm holding, right? I'm holding diamond hands, diamond hands, guys, diamond hands.